Hello Sagittarius, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your May mid-month reading for 2018. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I'm honored. Um, if this resonates with you, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel as well as tapping on that bell so you can see when I put up new content, all right? This is going to be, again, for your mid-month um, to the end of May 2018. We're going to do a five-card spread. First card is going to be what's coming towards you. Second card is going to be what you're bringing to the table for the rest of the month. Third card is going to be what obstacle you may face. Fourth card is going to be what's going to help you overcome that. And fifth and final card is a potential outcome. So, again... Here we are, mid-May, okay, I can't believe that this year is almost half over, it just started, I feel like, um, so what do my Sagittarius friends need to know from now until the end of May 2018, what do my Sagittarius friends need to know from now until the end of May 2018? Now to the end of May 2018. Hey, sorry about that. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to cut and see what message we have, okay? Mm -mm. Yes. Alright, here we go. What's coming towards you? Queen of Wands, this is great energy for you. So, you know, this is someone that is passionate, right? You are passionate about your purpose, your goals, your life. You're standing in that truth, man, and you are going for it, all right? That's great energy for you for the end of this month. What you're bringing to the table, though, is you are getting over some hurt. You've been, you know, this in despair, kind of maybe in a little dark place. But you're getting over it, man. You are coming out of that. That's awesome. That's great. Glad to see that. So, potential obstacle for wands in the upright. Now, normally I would say this is a, you know, it's a pretty darn good card, right? You know, this usually means some sort of union, commitment, joy. Um, however, if the wrong person is offering you a commitment, and maybe you need to say no. All right. How are you going to overcome this? Page of Swords. So this is really, right, like, I love this card. Because dude is standing there at the ready with that sword. Like, he is ready to fight. He is ready to slice dice. Okay. Um, so... Use that fiery energy that you have to really cut through the BS, basically, is what I'm seeing from this. You know how a teenager, uh, you know, I know teenagers can get on some people's nerves, but I tell you one thing a teenager does do. They will call you on your crap faster than you can blink an eye. And if they know something is not true, they're gonna, they're just going to put it out there operate like that. That's what's going to help you. Cut through the crap. Okay? Potential outcome. Well, potential outcome here is the star in reverse. So, this could be that the wish that you had is not being fulfilled at this present time. This could be an internal wish that you had, something you wanted to get done within yourself. Is going to be completed at this time. So, um, let's go with the obstacle. What? Let's get some clarification on that. So, why is this four of wands in the upright and obstacle from now to the end of May for my Sagittarius friends? Why is this four of wands here? Mm -hmm. 
victory. One more clarifying card for why is this an obstacle? Is this four of wands and the six of wands? You're really feeling yourself, Lou. I tell you that much. You got, you got that fire burning. You, you, you are in your element this month. Seven of swords in the reverse, followed by justice with an overall King of Pentacles energy. So this is what I'm seeing here. This make a little bit more sense. In this obstacle situation here, with an overall Pentacle energy, okay? So, Earth sign. So, right? So, like, Taurus, Virgo, um, why can't I think of the rest of the Earth signs? Oh, my good Lord, help me. Earth signs. I'm. It's late, guys. It's late, so don't don't get me out on that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, commitment. Okay. That appears to be victory. However, somebody's holding back some secrets. Okay, there's some secrets to shenanigans going on that you're going to find out about. And justice is going to be served in this situation. Um, sorry guys, let me just take a quick peek at what I got going on here. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just got a very interesting um, message. So, yeah, so Taurus... Virgo, Capricorn energy, um, that could be who's trying to give you this commitment, but I'm not, it's, 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 just, it's in the obstacle, so this could be keeping you from being about your coin, or we're looking at this earth energy as being what's, uh, what's coming towards you as far as who's offering it. But we also have the air energy here as well, you know, um, so that could be it as well. But this is just interesting to me. So sometimes, you know, we get a commitment that we think is going to be bring us really good things. And then there's just some backstory back there. And it breaks our heart. But that's also why I believe we've got the Page of Swords in the what's going to Oh, you know, help us to overcome this obstacle because I think you're going to cut to the chase. Uh, why is this page of swords here? I think you're going to cut to the chase. I think you're going to see things for what they are and you're just going to call it out um, as, as it is. You're just going to, you know, what it is is what it is. Um, Why is this page of swords here in the upright? Let me give you a quick shuffle. Sorry, this is taking a little bit long. It just feels like there's just something really interesting here that's happening. And this one's just a little bit tougher for me to hear. So, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you need to protect yourself, guard your heart. Or the war, what's going to happen is that there's some secrets that's going to come out. Here we got the two sevens. So we got a lot of secrets happening here. Okay. That are about to be illuminated. You're going to see what it is. Somebody's been guarding some secrets in the background. And you through this page of sword energy is going to, you're going to cut to that chase. Yep. Followed by the lovers in reverse. So this could end. This relationship. 
Okay, this could end this relationship. You got the overall energy of the two of pentacles in the upright. So somebody's juggling something. Okay, it could be that this other person has choices to make. It could be you. It could go either way, but I'm feeling this the other person. And then the potential outcome, what you wish was going to happen with this relationship, that it was going to come to fruition, it was going to be what you wanted. It, this isn't really it yet. However, again, you are bringing your energy into this. And you are going to be, your, your, this is your energy, your strength is coming towards you. And you are going to get over this quickly because you're bringing this energy into it. Like you are just not having it. You're not about to sit here and whoop and holler and cry about this situation. You're going to get it done. Okay. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, Sagittarius. Okay. That's what I'm seeing for you. So we're going to pull a couple of Oracle cards here from our Indigo or Indigo Angel Oracle deck. I love this deck. I love this Oracle deck. I really want to get another one. I'm not quite sure, you know. So if anybody has any suggestions for an Oracle deck, uh, you know, leave them for me. I would, I'm more than happy to investigate new decks, new Oracle cards. Um, but these have been really, oh, here we got two. Um, these have been really good, good to me. So as for a sign, is the first one that came out, okay? So don't be afraid to ask your, your your angels for a sign as you're going along the way. Am I going on the right path? Am I hearing this? Am I seeing this correctly? Ask for the sign. It's okay. That's what they're more than happy to give it to you. Okay, so don't be afraid to ask for that sign. And then health. Watch your health, Sagittarius. You know, um, take care of yourself. You need to remain strong, especially during this energetic time during the end of this month. It, it's, it can be a little overwhelming. And I don't get affected by energies that often. You know, I might notice a little bit here or there, or I deal with the public a lot. So I might notice it in other people. But I have noticed myself that I've been a little more tired than normal. So it's, it's heavy. Okay, so take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Get your proper rest. Eat well, eat as clean as possible, you know, um, maybe juice for a little bit, um, maybe go on a meat fast, I'm, you know, but take care of yourself at the end of the month here, okay? All right, that's all that I have for you, Sagittarius friends. So if this resonated with you, please, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, hit that bell so you are notified when I bring out new content. Okay, um, and you can get in touch with me. There is information down below um, in the description on how to get in touch with me. Okay, if you want a personal reading. All right. Thank you so much as always for watching. Um, peace, love, blessings, and joy to you now and forever. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day until we see each other again. All right.